Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I have an I Love Mermaids and Unicorn reading. Um, this is a timeless reading. And uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, but <clears throat> I was guided to do an I Love Mermaids and Unicorns reading. Okay. Now, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, there are times when I call it I love mermaids and I love unicorns. And I figure that out by shuffling the cards because the cards are moody. Yes, they sure are. And as I was shuffling, not one time did the unicorn show up on top. It was always the mermaids. So the mermaids are fighting today to be on top. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but whatever. We're going to get started with the reading anyways. This is going to be a general collective reading. All right. So it may not or may, may or may not resonate. <clears throat> um... You know, just take what does and leave the rest. And if it comes out weird and it's not your story, don't take that, okay? Just leave it alone. And whatever sounds like your story, then just, you know, accept that stuff, I guess, you know. So uh, the cards have been pre-shuffled, but of course I'm going to shuffle one more time just so we could get a general energy, okay? general energy for today's reading is <laughs> you see the mermaids are on top I'm telling you <laughs> okay so we got king of wands here be yourself unless you can be a mermaid then always be a mermaid hmm Okay, so that's the general energy. You know, the King of Wands here. This this energy, this guy, is uh, this is a skilled transformer, okay? Uh, this card also doubles as the um, Magician card. So be yourself. Unless you can be a mermaid, then always be a mermaid. So what I'm taking it with that message, because, you know, there's just so many random messages in here. Um, I'm taking it that somebody might not or might be wearing a mask, right? They might not be acting their true self. Now, the King of Wands is... Um, it's also the magician card. This card doubles as the magician, right? It's in the upright, so that's good, right? So somebody is trying to manifest something positive, right? It could be a job, you know? It could be um, a new love. It could be um, finding happiness, finding their passion again, right? Yeah. So let's find out what is going on in the situation, right? And uh, I don't know. We'll just go from there. Sound good? Okay. <laughs> All right. So let me get. Hmm. Let me get three cards today for the I Love Mermaids and Unicorn reading. This is general, collective, general reading. Okay. 
So we're starting out here. I wanted to get three cards, but let's see what came out because we got more than that. I might have to do more, right? Use as the first card. We got the three of wands there. <coughs> we got the three of cups, but this is in the reverse. Hmm. We got the knight of wands. We also have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So it appears that uh, we are dealing with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Somebody might be actually walking away from a Queen of Cups. Now, it didn't come out in the reverse, so um, for that Queen of Cups or the Eight of Cups. So somebody definitely walking away because there were some secrets involving this Queen of Cups. Mermaids don't lose sleep over opinions of shrimp. So a lot of people or, you know, yeah, a lot of people might be um, trying to tell this Queen of Cups what to do, how to live their life, right? Uh, a lot of opinions out there, you know, Cups is a water energy. You can have water in your chart somewhere, I guess, but, you know, right now we're just talking in general. And this Queen of Cups isn't really caring about what people think about her, right? There might be a lot of people out there, you know, it's not saying too many nice things about her. But she doesn't really give a hoot, right? She walks away from, you know, people and places and things who just don't serve her. And uh, she might actually have a secret. She's holding some sort of secret. Hmm. Wow. Stick those back in there in a random spot, right? This is like two decks of cards put together. <laughs> we have I Love Unicorns and we have I Love Mermaids. Okay. Just thought I'd let you know that what that is, okay? So basically, we're dealing with two individuals here. Somebody's very passionate and somebody's very emotional. Possibly kind of needy emotional, right? And somebody who's passionate about um, their goals or ambitions maybe here, okay? Now remember, I do a male male female female and female male energy so you put your couple the way it is supposed to be in this story however we do have the three of wands there <coughs> somebody seems to be waiting for something okay they're waiting for something to come in you know this is about efforts rewarded in success in whatever you're doing right you could be trying to start a business. You could be waiting for um, an individual. You could be waiting for finances, right? But we do have the Three of Cups here, and that's in the reverse. So somebody's waiting for something to happen, but they're not really putting any work into it, possibly just trying to manifest it, you know? You can be that magician and try to manifest things, but if you're just going to sit around and do anything, hoping it's going to, you know, come to you, thinking that if you just speak it out into the universe and it's just going to magically come while you watch, you know, Netflix all day and not really do anything, thinking, okay, I'm not going to worry about this because I, you know, I just tried to manifest it, speak it out into the universe, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. Well, you know, that's not how it works. You got to put in some work. You know, being that magician doesn't necessarily always mean that you can make magic and just sit around all day and wait. No, you have to put in some work. Everything takes a little bit of work, you know. The universe, you know, needs a little help sometimes. The universe needs to know that you want it that bad, that you're willing to put in a little work. 
So it seems like whatever's happening here, <clears throat> somebody's waiting for something to happen, but they're not doing anything about it. They're not putting in any work, right? It could be a relationship or a job. No, we also have this Knight of Wands here eating a raw oyster is like kissing a mermaid. Blech. I don't know about you guys. I don't like eating raw oysters. I don't even want to attempt it. <laughs> I've smelled them. I've touched one with my tongue and I was like, no. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> but we have a Knight of Wands here. And you know, that's a flighty character. Now, we could have a King of Wands here. We can have a, a, magi a magician here, the uh, magician. But I tend to think that it's not a king quite yet, right? Maybe the energy is there. The magician is there. Somebody trying to manifest. But we have the Knight of Wands here, and that's like a flighty character. This is who I think we're talking about. Somebody who's in that Knight of Wands energy. Who is flighty? They come in. They wave their wand around, right? Mm-hmm. Hoping to get what they can from you, and then they pretty much bail. They ghost you, and you don't know what happens to that individual. It could be a guy or a girl, right? Yeah. Wow. I feel like my tongue is on fire. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. I feel like my tongue is burnt or something. But <clears throat> let's keep going here. That might mean something to someone out there. I don't. I have no idea. Well, how many is this? Okay, so we're trying to. I was basically trying to find out what that three of wands was there. <clears throat> trying to clarify a little bit. And I will say that somebody might actually have some pretty strong manifesting powers because I was thinking that I didn't say it and, you know, three cards came flying out. So let's find out what the heck this is, okay? So we have the three of wands. We got the eight of pentacles. We got the four of cups. And we have the eight of cups. There's that eight of cups again, right? Yeah, unicorns are being pushy now. A little bit jealous maybe, but you know, what can I say? Could be some jealousy in this situation. <clears throat> so somebody's definitely waiting for some sort of uh, pentacles, right? Remember I said somebody's waiting, could be for money or uh, wait, just waiting for something, right? So somebody is waiting for something. Um, they may have been trying to manifest some money coming in, right? So they might might have actually put in some work, a little bit of work there, because the Eight of Pentacles is about working on your craft, working on whatever you do, right? Could be a builder. Um, but whatever it is you do, you're basically, you're working on it. And uh, I think the universe is helping you out a little bit, to be quite honest. Four of Cups. Somebody might be offering you something, you know, maybe for your product or whatever. Or they could be coming in and offering you um, some sort of, some offer of uh, love, it could be. The thing is about this is, you know, you've heard this offer already before, this type of offer, and you're like, you know what, I don't know. I don't know about this offer here because it it's kind of sounds like this person might be offering you like some breadcrumbs, right? We have the Eight of uh, Cups here, so it looks like you're going to be walking away from that offer. It's not good enough for you. Yeah, they're not offering you enough. It's not good enough. It's it, Maybe you got to put in too much work into it so you're like, you know, I, I think I'll pass, right? Because you may have been offered this before, but you're not going to take the offer again because somebody is, isn't coming with you to you with truth. It looks wonderful on the outside, but on the inside, it's like, yeah, it's really not all it's cracked up to be, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what that Three of Cups is doing there. Why is that Three of Cups there? 
The cards are like really talking and I'm barely touching them and they're all flying out. So with that three of cups there, somebody doesn't want to work on something, right? Says it here, says it there. They don't want to work on something or they're not going to put in too much work for it. It's like they want it to come easy, right? Um, might even be this person trying to come in and make that offer, right? You might have been waiting for something and maybe you were waiting for a person to bring in an offer and then they finally did and you're like, uh, no, no way, right? Because it just sucks. <laughs> it sucks the offer and you know, you're not willing to work on it with this person. It says, if your thighs touch, you're one step closer to being a mermaid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't remember what these cards have on them. I haven't used them in a little bit, but these cards is foolish foolish maybe maybe somebody's offer when they came in because they're the player player energy okay you guys uh, you know yeah somebody came in with an offer and you know maybe that offer involved you know getting together hooking up right but it doesn't look like you're gonna your thighs are touching basically put it that way right if your thighs touch you're one step closer to being a mermaid so it sounds to me like you're keeping your thighs together because you'd rather be a mermaid than to be hanging out with this you know character <laughs> so we do have the three of cups there okay not willing to work on it except it's in the reverse three of cups is about you know working on things with others you're not doing it Somebody's going to come in and offer you something, some peanuts, and you're going to be like, what? No, thank you, buddy. You keep those thighs shut, good girl. Or good guy, right? It could be either way, basically. Um, seven of Pentacles here. You may have even been waiting for this person, waiting for them to come with, you know, a better offer than just that. You may have tried to plant some seeds, manifest something with this person, and when the offer came you're like ew i don't even like that offer anymore it sucks right oh <laughs> you see that shit fly out so we have <clears throat> we have the four of swords and um the four of swords is about kind of you know t the four of swords is about being sick and tired of something and just like fed up like oh my god but it's in the reverse so somebody could be playing some games here right um, it's in the reverse. This is also dub. This also doubles as the death card, right? Seven of Pentacles doubles as the um, what is it? The the star. <clears throat> yes, you're keeping your legs closed. You're not gonna just let this person come in and think that he's got something special between his legs or her legs, right? And you know you are trying to heal. You heal the situation. You have hope in it, right? And you may have thought about things, and, and I think you're going to take another tactic on, on uh, this situation, whoever this is. <clears throat> um, you may have in the past wanted to put it to an end, but you thought, well, wait a minute. In the past, I just gave in, right? You've given it some thought. You're like, in the past, I just gave in, and I'm, you know, I'm tired of that. Maybe I just need to just straight out tell this person what's up, and I think that's what's going to happen here. Um because somebody's not letting this end right and they're using manipulation to do it you know they're trying to come in they think they got the the magic wand <laughs> right you know what i mean they think that but they really don't and you're like listen that thing it's not good enough for me to be have my head in the clouds no more right they might have thought that they were the best but they weren't because maybe you actually just loved this person and that was it you didn't care about what was between their legs you loved the person as a person and this person didn't see that they thought it was all about you know their <laughs> magical bedroom qualities but it wasn't you just basically loved this person somebody did out there so I think you're going to be using a new tactic on this. You were sick and tired of this person's energies and what they were doing, but you're, you thought about it and you're like, you know what? Why don't I take another approach to this? And I think that's what you're going to do. And you're, you know why? It's because you have boundaries now, basically. 
you have boundaries and you're not going to allow this person to just run you around like that all right and that's good so you may have wanted to put this to an end in the past but i think you're like you know let me just uh let me see if i use this tactic and see what happens with this person because you really love this person you know you really do but it's just uh whatever they're offering all the time and you know it's almost coming to the point where you're falling out of love with them but they it seems like they always come in just at the right time right when you're over it and they tell you something and your gear heads are back up in the clouds again but i you know i don't think you're falling for it this time because a lot of time has gone by and you're done with that you're done with that it ain't that magical you know what i'm saying but you aren't even putting it to an end though so it shows here that you're you're gonna use one more tactic here somebody is anyways why is this knight of wands here this guy why is he or she right why is he or she here uh, let me get a few cards for that knight of wands <clears throat> okay so we have the eight of wands and then we have the nine of wands let me get one more okay let me get one more card for that uh oh there we go two cards came out we'll just do that I'll, i'm gonna end up putting them back anyway so um, yeah so look now we got unicorns on top and i'm thinking that somebody's standing more in their power now than before right we have the mermaids very emotional but now the unicorns are standing out earthy to me right to me that's what those two represent um okay so this night of this night of wants guy <laughs> or girl whoever this is um got the eight of wands there right so yeah, this person's gonna come in all passionately, right? The Eight of Wands is about incoming communication, something coming in real passionately, really quick, right? But it's also like repetition, <laughs> you know, doing something over and over again, maybe not, not succeeding because it's just the same old, same old, right? Yeah. It's also about swift uh, movement to create stability. So this person's going to come in waving their wand around thinking that, you know, they got that magic wand, but I do see somebody else here being a lot stronger now and, and kind of getting over whatever this person has to offer because it ain't that special, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and you, you know, you start to, you start to lose feelings for people as time goes by. You know, you may always think of them and reminisce about them, but the love will fade, especially if they never really gave you any good reason to hold on to it. You know, like maybe they were flighty, they were in and out, they had not much to offer you, gave you breadcrumbs, you know, maybe weren't even very nice to you. And, you know, those feelings go away after a while. <clears throat> And so this person's going to try to come in all passionately and offer whatever they're going to offer, you know, which is, you know, teeny tiny crumbs, whatever that is. And, you know, this person's going to, well, we have this nine of wands here. The nine of, nine of wands is about, you know, sorry, nine of swords, my bad. The nine of swords is about, um keeping yourself you know in a mental state of being trapped right like you're trapped because this person or somebody or a situation is making you feel trapped right but this is a mental thing you know this is you keeping yourself trapped on your own it's in the upright and you're still trying to make sense of the situation mm, no you know who's trying to make sense of this now it's this guy yeah this guy or girl whoever this flighty character is this person who likes to just you know basically you know to be straight and honest here i'm not going to beat around the bush this person likes to sleep around could be a male or a female 
And they come in passionately all the time. They're like, oh, I love you, you know, love bombing, whatever. But now they're going to be struggling to make sense of what, wait, what happened? Because somebody else is going to be like, what? What do you want? You know, because you got your, you got your thighs closed. <laughs> well, why can't I get it? Well, you gave me breadcrumbs before you don't deserve it, right? I don't really like you that much. Not as much as I used to, anyways. This person may have even actually forgiven this person thinking that it's over, it's done, it's gone. And because they wanted their closure, they gave themselves closure by forgiving themselves for being involved with somebody like this. So basically, you know, they brought closure to themselves. And I think that's kind of sometimes bringing closure to yourself because this person's not going to bring it to you because they ghost you anyways. Basically kind of pulls you out of the gr their grasp, whatever kind of, you know, hold on you that they have. So somebody here got some closure and is like, you know, I deserve better. I have boundaries now. That person wasn't all that anyways, right? Mm-hmm. And so when this person comes back all passionately, they're going to be stuck in this nine of swords because you're going to be like, or they're going to be like, you ain't got nothing special and I'm not really that interested anymore. You know, and then they're going to be like, oh, my God, what, what what happened? Thinking they had that magic wand and they didn't. <laughs> um, they could even be dealing with a queen of wands here. Look, you are mermazing. <laughs> it's foolish, you guys. It's so foolish. But now this person is going to struggle to make sense of things because things are going to the tables have turned. And this person is thinking, oh my God, I really do like this person. Now they don't really want me anymore. What happened? Well, it's because this person was mermazing. <laughs> Whoever this queen of wands is, or they're going to be in the energy of thinking about, uh, thinking this way about this person that whoever's turning them down now is mermazing. <laughs> oh, shoot seven of wands it's about like you know uh, having arguments with others this person might have an argument with you about why what happened you know why don't you like me blah 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 and you know what they're gonna ask for that argument they're gonna get it because somebody has boundaries now they're speaking their mind speaking up for themselves so they're not gonna hold back anymore well, you did this to me and you did that to me. Why the heck would I want to keep you? You gave me breadcrumbs before. Right? You went out and worked on something with someone else while I waited for you. Right? Yeah. So I walked away. Plain and simple. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the nerve of this person, right? I'm telling you, shoot. So let's go ahead and get these up. <clears throat> uh, let's, you know what? let's get them all up. We'll just do another spread, right? Because we know that story now. We know what happened. We know the main idea of the story. Let me just put these in order real quick because I like to have them all in the upright when I start. The nerve of this fellow or fellowette or I don't know this guy or this girl anyways, right? Some nerve. Oh, there's mermaid again. She's like, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be on top. <laughs> Let me just do one couple quick shuffles here before we throw out the next few cards to the story. Yeah, somebody thinks they got that magic stick. Are you kidding me? Guys, anyhow, we just get one more really quick shuffle here. So we're gonna try and see if we can get. Let's see if we could try and get three more cards here. Well, there's one. Boom. Get another one, please. Another two, actually. Let me get another two. All right. Get another one, please. <coughs> okay. Hmm. 
nine of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah now ever since all that happened somebody's tripping out they're all tripped out in their head now like oh my god they don't want me anymore yeah yeah hello <laughs> not after the breadcrumbs you know what i'm saying so we do have there he is <laughs> unicorns horses with style there's that there's that king of wands again energy king of wands there's that king of wands again so this person's real passionate Tr still trying to manifest even after that you know breadcrumb offer somebody's definitely trying to manifest this bag they're really passionate about this right um this is a this person so skillful in their manifesting abilities i don't even manifesting that ain't even a word but whatever but somebody is you know trying to manifest something and and bring about something thinking that they can offer breadcrumbs and come out on top <laughs> right but uh, the closer your thighs are together the more closer you are of being a mermaid right yeah yeah so we do have uh, the night of um, <laughs> Okay, so uh, definitely got some double confirmation on that. Somebody's gonna, somebody's trying to be a mermaid, right? Keeping those thighs touching close together. <laughs> uh, I do see the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles. There's a million fish in the sea, but I am a mermaid. So yeah, this person definitely, whoever is breadcrumbing, is trying to offer something into somebody who knows their value now. Maybe before they didn't, they didn't value themselves, but now they do. They got boundaries, you know. You can't just come in here and, and offer the wand. That ain't enough. You know, you got to court me. You got to take me out. You got to treat me like I'm special because this person obviously didn't do that before, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> basically, that's what's happening here. Somebody is not going to take it anymore. They're not going to take, you know, being treated like... Uh, a side chick or something or a side dude right we got this eight of wands here it's in the reverse somebody's lost the passion for another individual and um that's why you know it's not hot and heavy anymore somebody doesn't want to create stability with this individual because they never showed any sort of you know effort for them why are they going to show effort you know back right yeah so why is this king of wands here mm -hmm. i believe in unicorns so this person because an individual said bye to this king of uh wands because they don't want flightiness that's how he became the king of wands because remember before he was just a knight but now he's the king of wands because he learned something he was bumped up a rank from knight to king, right? Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Not doing so, so great on finances, so couldn't really offer anything stable when it comes to money or whatever. Probably couldn't even take this person out on a date, buy him a soda or anything. Um, but they are going to be offering some sort of stability here to another person. Uh, this king of, of wands now whoever they're gonna offer that to they're gonna offer something but it's it's just a promise right now it's, or something like yeah I'll get a job or I promise I'll do this or I'll promise I'll do that but right now it's just words you know yes words is the start of an idea manifesting something out into the universe but this person has done this before so it's a an ongoing cyclic trend right mm -hmm. so we have this knight of wands here there he is again so what he's he might be trying to offer is the wand again but of course and you know he's coming in as in as a king so possibly this person has got bumped up a rank from knight to king but not in all other aspects right not when it comes to stability not that yet and also still trying to offer the wand thinking that's something special right but remember eating a raw oyster is like kissing a mermaid Ugh. unless you like that i don't know some people out there like that 
But for me, when I hear this, it's like, blech. <laughs> that wand ain't worth it for me anymore. Right. You better bring me something better. Better than that. Let me get one more card. Seven of Cups. It's in the reverse. Yeah, this person, this person, this King of uh, Wands may have thought that that you know this could be a him or a her okay remember just trying to remind you guys it's just an energy so it can be a male or female watching this this could be you you could be wandering you know throwing your wand around or your thighs i don't know what to say about that but uh yeah might have thought whoever this energy is might have thought they had a lot of options or may have treated somebody as an option and that's not the an option that person that person is actually somebody very important and they didn't give them the acknowledgement that they needed they treated them like an option right yeah no <laughs> Okay, so we have this Knight of Pentacles here, right? Because we got him here. We got him here. But I promise you, I promise you I'll get a job. Uh, let's go to counseling. I promise. Why is that Knight of Wand uh, Pentacles there? Why is that Knight of Pentacles there? Because they are promising something. I promise, I promise, I promise. <laughs> promise what? Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah. You could be in the energy, look front and center. You could be in the energy, whoever, you know, you are, or maybe you're, you may be, still be that king of wands, but there is a queen of pentacles here. Queen of pentacles, you know, she's abundant, right? Could be a married person, but doesn't have to be, could be a divorced, right? Could be an ex. This is a very nurturing and giving individual. This person definitely in, in touch and has a bond between the internal and external. This person has a lot of balance. They're not all cut up in their head, unbalanced, tripping out, whatever. This person knows what they want. They're very giving. But because they've gone through this situation, I think, they're not, they're not going to be as giving as they were. Because, you know, they saw the trend and even though the Queen of Pentacles is very giving and loving and nurturing and all that, you know, she probably thinks that this person is a seal and not a mermaid, right? Seals are just dog mermaids, right? He's a dog. That's basically what he is. Yeah, we all know. We all know that, those kind of dogs, right? <clears throat> we got the Three of Wands here. And um, so this, you know... Queen of Pentacles might just say, okay, well, if you want to offer that, then show me. Show me. Because if you're not going to show me, I'm going to stay a mermaid with my thighs touching together, right? Yep, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this person's not going to, you know, be Ariel with legs until you show them, right? Because remember Ariel, I just remembered from the Little Mermaid, Ariel is a mermaid, right? And she gets on land and then she's got legs. And then of course she can be with her prince and they can have family, babies, whatever, right? But she's right now trying to be a mermaid. Yeah, she, she sure is. Cause she knows that this person coming in is like a seal, <laughs> a dog, right? <clears throat> Um, this person's offering some sort of stability and she's like, show me then, just show me, you know, actions speak louder than words, right? Yeah. And so she's going to wait for him possibly to show her or him, who you know, swap the roles because she's got time anyway. She's already doing stuff on her own. She became the queen of pentacles for a reason, you know, maybe she has a business, could be a business owner or whatever. But this person, she's like, okay, you want to you wanna show me? Then you can show me. But until then, I'm going to be a mermaid. <laughs> Let me get one more card for that knight of, um, that knight of pentacles there. Let's see what's going on here. Let me get one more card. One more card for the knight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, two of cups. 
So this, you know, definitely these two have shared emotions with each other in the past. But, you know, nowadays it's not, you know, they're, they're, the emotions are lo becoming lost. Because this person didn't show enough love to another individual that, you know, the, the, the love fades. It sure does. It fades away. This is also the temperance card. And the temperance means that somebody has lost patience over a situation and just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. They've had a lot of patience in the past, waiting, hoping, you know, maybe even trying to manifest. But it didn't happen the way they wanted to. It actually happened like really suckish. And this person's going to be like, you know, or this person is like, not going to be like, is going to, is, is like, you know, well, show me, we'll see, whatever. But I'm going to keep being the Queen of Pentacles, right? <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to wait and see what happens. But you got to show me the balance. You got to show me the balance, right? And it's not like you have to do it in one day. It's going to have to happen over time. So if this person is expecting to give out their wand like that, like this person's not going to be able to um, resist, that's not true. This person will resist trust. Because if you left this person and this person was actually loyal to you and you try to come in and wave that wand around thinking they're desperate because you've been away for so long. No, man. You, you've been away so long that you got them used to being without it. So it doesn't matter. You screwed this up. They didn't, <laughs> you know. So whoever this king of wands in who wants to throw his wand around screwed it up. You made that other person basically fine without it. Your fault. Anyhow. <clears throat> We're going to find out what that eight of, eight of wands is there. Why is that eight of wands there? In the reverse, right? Somebody is... I'm not really passionate about this anymore. I'm not really looking for a, that stability with a certain individual, right? Because they gave up. Look, Nine of Pentacles, right? Single lady. Single lady, Knight, Queen of, of Pe Pentacles. I knew that card was going to come out. I knew it was. I just, I'm shocked that it came out right there, right? You know, because that's like a double confirmation. Look, Six of Pentacles. Somebody wasn't given equally before, and, and they're not given equally now, and she's not going to put in any more to this because of that. That's why this other person's got to show her. Show me. Show me the money, right? Yeah, dude. So basically, this person's going to come back um, because they want to try and get some stability here, but there's no stability. They're going to come back thinking whatever they got, their little wand, is going to help it. And it's not because this is a single independent woman right and when this type of woman or guy l loves you it's for reals they're not using you they're not taking advantage of you they got their own money it's not like they're using you for your money you know because usually when people um want to use you it's like they they're not in this energy you know they're in the reverse energy usually right but they can't this came out in the upright so this person is is abundant and um, if a person's abundant and they love you, then you know they're not using you, right? No, because they don't need you. They want you. And this person wanted you, but you blew it. Whoever you are, King of Wands, you blew it. Uh, because this person has become single and independent and abundant. Your fault. <laughs> I know it takes two to tangle, but you guys understand this story, right? You put in your best. If you were this Nine of Pentacles person, you put in your best, and this person didn't put in crap. So, I mean, I mean, how else can I explain that? This person's going to try to come in, but they still, they're, they're going to try to come in passionately. Maybe now they're not going to, actually. They might, they might not, because <clears throat> they know what they did. And they know you're all independent and, you know, doing it now. They know that they didn't give any equal give and take in the past. That, that you put in all the work and they didn't do anything. Yeah, look, Queen of Cups. Could have air and water. Sorry. Could have, um, what do you call it? Earth and water in your chart if you're that independent woman. Somewhere in there. Yeah, you're not going to take this anymore. You know your worth. 
You know your worth and you're good. You know? Sure, you want to come back? Well, show me. I'm going to stay a mermaid until you do. When you do, then I'll go on land and we'll see what's up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Merman or mermaid or whatever. See how it resonates. Look at that. <laughs> Because you're abundant already. You got that ten of pentacles. You don't need that person. So this person's going to have to prove themselves, basically, is what I mean. Now I got these here. <sighs> these are love messages. This is the only deck ever in the world. But we're going to find out if there's any love messages in regards to this. Um, 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 um. How am I going to pull from this? I'm feeling like I need to pull it a special way. Love messages. Let's see what we get. Let's just pull some cards out, right? You can do that. Okay. Let's see. Family gathering. You might meet somebody at a family gathering. Somebody could be Year of the Tiger, Chinese astrology. Um... Definitely wanting commitment. Somebody wants commitment here. Could also be dealing with somebody who is year of the rat, Chinese astrology. I wish I had more to give. Wow, that resonates, doesn't it? <clears throat> so somebody might not be offering to another person. Might only be offering, you know, the wand because they might not be abundant. They don't have anything else to offer. Well, what about your time? What about your energy? That doesn't cost anything. Right? No, it sure doesn't. Um, I do see also that somebody's going to use their intuition on this. They're also, um, <clears throat> you know, the, uh, what do you call that? Darn it, I can't think of it. <laughs> this, the sacral chakra, right? This is all about creativity and sexuality and stuff. So somebody's creative flow is coming out through their um these energies right whatever somebody's going through they're putting that creative energy into success for themselves like i said you know the the king of, of wands there or actually the king of cups that's what he does right so some you could also be dealing with somebody who is a um a water sign you know it doesn't have to be could have it in their chart right um, next, I have goat. Could be your uh, Chinese astrology. You also have um, somebody's root chakra is doing fairly well, but, you know, their heart chakra is not. It's kind of closed down. I'm sorry I hurt you. Business. You could have had a business with this person, or maybe you wanted to start a business with them or something. I don't know. we got the color purple here. That might resonate with somebody. Uh, the mountains, you could have went on a camping trip with them, could have went to the mountains with them. Something like that, right? What's this now? We got that goat again. Year of the goat, double confirmation. I'm sorry I hurt you again. We have the letter V though. V like Vanessa, right? And there's those mountains again. Let's pull it from up here. Okay, got some letters here for you. I got O, I got D, I got W, I got K, and I got C. That could be somebody's first, last, middle initial. Um, somebody could be a little, oh, we have H also. H is in there. Uh, somebody could be a little rough around the edges, but maybe that's the way you like it. And uh, yeah, somebody, we have music here. So somebody may, you know, like music a whole lot. We all like music, but this person might like it a whole lot, or maybe... There are songs that you hear on the radio that remind you of this person. Mm -hmm. I do have snake. Could be year of the snake or you could be dealing with a snake. I also have the number three. The number three, we have the letter T like Tom. Um, first, last, middle, initial, right? Life path number maybe, who knows? I also have the lake or lake. You could have been at the lake with this person. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'll take this one. So somebody may have been really unselfish, ungodly, right? Not really believing 
you know, and and have or having any faith, right? Not believing in in God or something like that, right? Um, you could have went to the movies with this person at one time. You could have went on vacation with them too. I want you. Mm -hmm. Let's make up. Could have been dealing with a Leo. I have a Leo on here. Okay, here go the letters. Now this first, last, middle, initials. H, J, J twice, N, B, like boy. And we also have the number seven. Yeah. Anyhow. <clears throat> so that's what I have for you guys today for the I Love Mermaids and Unicorn reading. Um, it's like in the middle of the night right now. I like woke up and the middle of the night and I'm like I gotta do a reading <laughs> it's weird and I had to do the the I had to do this one right trippy no anyhow that's all I have for you guys today okay um thank you for coming hey if this resonated with anyone out there comment down below like the video whatever I, I want to hear your guys story or at least a little sh you know smidgen smidgen of it uh, let me know if it resonated and yeah <clears throat> That's all I have for you. Um, remember, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving because we have nothing to fear. Because we stay calm, we stay, uh, you know, we stay calm, we stay, um... oh my God, you guys, I forgot it. Cheerful. <laughs> we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And, you know, spirit's on our side. I think it's because I'm tired. I woke up in the middle of the night to do this, like, randomly. Like, I needed to. It's like I woke up like I needed to do it, you know? I was like, okay, okay. So, any, anyways, you guys. So, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <laughs> Bye.